Today we are taking a deep dive into the heart of Buckeye, Arizona. So if you're on the brink of moving to the Phoenix area and you're wondering where you should be planting your roots, Buckeye might just be the best spot for you. Hey guys, I'm Cynthia Salvador with eXp Realty. I am your go-to real estate agent here in Buckeye. So go ahead and click that like and subscribe button so we can stay connected. All right, let's get right into it. Buckeye is not just a suburb, it's not just a city. It is the Wild West neighbor of Phoenix. Sitting about 30 miles west of Phoenix, you're gonna find the city of Buckeye. And you probably already know this, but it's one of the fastest growing cities in the country. And it's not showing any signs of slowing down either. To give you some perspective on the population, in 2010, the population was 51,000. And according to the Census Bureau, the population as of July, 2023, is 106,000. Massive, massive growth here. Geographically, Buckeye is about 640 square miles. This is a huge city. With all of this space, it's really like the Texas of Arizona. And shout out if you live in Texas and you're watching this video. I get a lot of people reaching out to me that are relocating from Texas to Arizona and I love my Texans. With all this space, it is basically an outdoor lover's dream. So you've got hiking, biking, walking trails, lots of different dog parks, golf. That's a big thing in Arizona. I'm not a golfer myself, but if you love it, hey, we've got plenty of different courses for you. If you wanna to go to downtown Phoenix, you are only a 30 minute drive away and 20 minutes away, you are going to make it to Westgate Entertainment District. Talking about the growth of Buckeye, it is exploding with opportunities. Okay, there are acres of possibilities a few major developments that are coming to the city of Buckeye are Verado Marketplace. It is a large commercial development. It's going to include shops, dining, entertainment. This is, of course, going to be, like the name suggests, near Verado, which some residents like and some residents hate. It's very, it's very split. Another marketplace is Sunrise Marketplace, also going to be in Verado. Um, Costco, shout out to all my Costco fans out there. I love Costco. With all that, there is more growth for retail, entertainment, services. As far as medical developments, there are three major facilities that are going to include a full service hospital and medical office buildings. So this is going to give residents more options for healthcare, and it's going to give us so many more employment opportunities for medical professionals. If we're talking about historic downtown Buckeye, there's honestly not that much to do but there is a plan to grow and develop the area there's just not that many shops right now there's not too many restaurants so the great news for employment this is going to bring so much wide range of employment opportunities to the city of Buckeye and it's really going to create a vibrant local economy it's just going to further the growth and development of Buckeye honestly so you know seeing it in five ten years from now it's going to look totally different than what it looks like today back to Westgate for just a second they are building a mega resort and a Mattel themed park so 2020 24 is basically the year of fun in the West Valley. As far as location and transportation, Buckeye does have its own um, freeway access with the 10. That's what you're gonna use for the majority of getting in and out of Buckeye. The 303 is close by and that has also been extended as well. So it's very easy to get around. Different roads are being built every day and kind of expanding as well because we are just trying to keep up with all the growth. We have to talk about housing, of course. Buckeye is not just a one size fits all. You have so many different living options from master plan communities to communities with no HOAs or homeowner associations to active adult communities. I'm sure that there is a Buckeye home that's calling your name. And guess what? It's still affordable. The median priced home in the city of Buckeye is 450,000. And probably the well-known community that you've already heard me talk about, Verado is the probably the gem of Buckeye, I would say. And a lot of other people would say the same thing. I have a lot of videos on this community, so I'm not gonna go into too many details here, but it is special for a reason. It is a master plan community with countless amenities. But I think what makes Verado so special is the small town charm. The median price point is gonna be a little bit higher in this community and it's sitting at 600,000. Okay, for those of you that have kids, let's talk about schools in Buckeye. And the school game is pretty strong. Seven different districts to choose from. The Verado district is A-rated, top-notch. Private schools, we also have those as well. So do your homework, literally, <laughs> with the links I'm gonna drop below and kind of just take a deeper dive into the education scene. But there are a lot of different schools to choose from and private schools, charter schools, you really have an option for anything. Oh, okay, I know that was a lot of information and if you're still with me, thank you for sticking around. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. And for any questions about the city of Buckeye, Verado, relocating here, text or call me. Here's my contact info. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos I post and I'll see you on the next one.